got offered ketamine one time. I was like, what the fuck is that? It was, why was a customer offering me that in the bathroom? Uh, visions of winning when my eyes close. You can blink and you miss it. Where does the time go? Setting goals, another day, another milestone. Sometimes you think you got. Hi, I'm Rue, but I also go by China. That's my dance name. I'm born and raised from Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. Moved around a lot, but I like to tell people I'm from Minneapolis. Um, well, so what had happened was. Um, I had literally just turned 19 and um, I was living with my mom and she kept threatening to kick me out and it was like I had a huge ass birthday party and everything. I'm telling you, I dr drained my bank account. I got a thousand dollar Airbnb for a freaking weekend, not even a weekend, two nights and um, yeah, I got the Airbnb and I did like a big ass dinner at Pogo de Chow. Niggas don't even eat like that, but we was eating big and good at Pogo de Chow. So yeah, um, I spent all my money and my mom gets to threaten and kick me out. I'm like, what is going on? Like, I'm not ready for this. And she just kept threatening me too much. I was like, yeah, no, I gotta go. So, uh, <laughs> I got him out that bitch and um, I definitely stayed in the shelter for like two months and uh, I was working at Speedway around the time and uh, I had them the first thing I did was call uh, my manager at Speedway because I found out there was a Speedway like walking distance from the shelter so I called them and I was like hey yo there's like an emergency going on uh, I'm in South Minneapolis now so you're gonna have to like relocate me and that's how I ended up being relocated to the South Minneapolis uh, Speedway and been working there and I was busting my ass for two fucking months. I was picking up midday shifts, night shifts, morning shifts. I was working all the shifts. Like if somebody dropped their shift, I picked it up right away. They like all knew that I was in the shelter anyway. So like they were like, oh, okay, well we know she's gonna take these shifts. So I was like overworking myself and yeah. And I ended up getting my own apartment. And after I got my own apartment, um, the manager that was working at Speedway, the assistant manager, she was actually a dancer at Deja Vu. And um, she was just always coming into work like late as fuck or like calling off and it was just really weird she was just always constantly saying oh i have stomach problems blah 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 and i was like so confused like damn bitch like go to the hospital or something and she was like talking about how she was always in and out the hospital so i'm like what is really going on and um she had left and after she left i texted her because she was like kind of cool people. So we used to buy each other Starbucks and shit. I never had a coworker like that. She was cool. I was like, okay, like, where are you going? Like, I definitely want to keep in touch. And she was like, oh, yeah, I'm getting my real estate real estate license. And um, I was like, oh, yeah, that's cool. And we exchanged social medias. And after exchanging social medias, uh, I had noticed in her private story that she was like in like, the elevator and like wearing like a bikini and i was like is she doing what i think she doing she ain't got no ass no titty and she doing what i think she doing i was like yeah let me let me try that so i texted her and i was like yeah um definitely gonna have to put me on game sis because you know like these bills and speedway is not gonna work out because who's gonna no so yeah i was like yeah definitely gonna have to put me on and she kept getting me to come into the club, but I was like so like paranoid about like quitting Speedway at first. And she was like, no, you're gonna have to quit Speedway. You're not gonna be able to like work at both places cause like morning shifts and like the night shifts just literally don't work. So I was like, mm, okay. And then like literally after like the first few weekends, I was like, whoa. I was like, what the fuck is this? I went back to working at Speedway uh, like a few weeks later and um, I was like, I don't want to be here. This is depressing. This is sad. Customers catching an attitude with me left and right. And I'm like, I could catch an attitude with a nigga and he would still pay me like at the club. So therefore, I'm going to have to see y'all out. See y'all later. Because no. Mm -mm. So that's how I started dancing. It's pretty fun. Um, it's a roller coaster. Um, 
you deal with weird people like the customers the other dancers that work with you i try to mind my business uh motherfuckers still be getting caught up in the drama but it's okay it happens but yeah i've danced in chicago i've danced in wisconsin minnesota that's currently it as of right now i would like to dance um in florida I'm supposed to be going to Florida. Um, not supposed to be going, but I'm planning on going to Florida at some point to dance. Like in Chicago, the club that I worked at, I worked at Ocean, so I feel like in Ocean you have to work more for your money. Cause like at Deja Vu, yeah, you're just doing like a few cute swirls around the pole, and like people just like want to like waste it all on you. But in um, Ocean, like. You're just like twerking like the whole time. It's just like sections. So like you're just constantly like dancing within that section and they're just throwing it and like they'll like slow down throwing it and like out the blue, like just start making it rain. Safety concern, a real safety concern is when I'm doing them pole tricks. When I'm up in the air, if I fall down and hit my head and get a concussion, bro, there is no insurance to this job. <laughs> like, I try not to hurt myself. I recently just came back from a trip from Chicago and I uh, danced out there for my birthday. And um, I was dancing with my panties off and uh, the customers was getting a little too freaky and they spit on my Gucci. Damn. I know, I was... It was, it was, it was out the blue. Like I was really in it with my friend. No, she wasn't even my friend. I met her that same day. We were like, okay, let's, we gonna have to par partner up, be dance buddies or whatnot. Um, and we are having a good time. It was great. And we're in a section with like a fat ass group of people. And it was like another girl's birthday. And so me and her like in each other's faces, like, ah, birthday twin, whatever, whoop de woo And, um, we're dancing with our panties off, and out the blue, it's... I just feel something wet. I'm like, oh. So what you do from there? I got up and just took a shower, and I, I left that section. I was like, yeah, nah, because I'm not finna spaz on nobody. Plus, I was in Chicago, and I didn't know nobody really out there, so I wasn't finna do too much. So I was like, yeah, we just gonna have to wrap this one up and call it a night. But same night... Uh, my dance partner had licked my coochie. I was like, oh, okay. So it's it's real graphic out here. It was, everything was just catching me off guard. I was like, wow, like I got my friend licking my coochie. Uh, first, okay, so first she was hovering. She was like, and um, then out the blue, she's just like, and when she, when she got done, she was like, okay, you for real gonna have to be my girlfriend. I was like, huh? I didn't sign up for this. I came to dance in Chicago for a weekend, but it was fun. It was fun. I definitely go back to the same club, do it again. Um, yeah, maybe I'll keep my panties on. It's definitely not for everyone. Um, don't date your coworkers. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, definitely don't date customers. I I've witnessed some some of that. That's funny. Um, I don't really know if. I personally don't know if I could give advice since I've only been doing it for seven months. But like normally I just tell people, oh, it's not for everyone. Definitely try it, see if you like it. If it's something that fits you. If you can't get naked in front of anybody, I don't recommend it. Um, yeah, it's like more like white girl beef because there's like so much white girls at the club. Like it's like, oh, blah, blah, blah. They're like yelling at each other in the locker room and it's like nothing even serious. Like. They just yell at each other's face and like it's over with. Like after that, she's a whole bunch of drunken bitches in like one room. So it's just funny for me to watch. The money, um, positives to dancing. Um, I don't know. It's a workout. I don't need to go to the gym. Fuck the gym. Um, what else? I don't know. Like I deal with new people every day. I don't get bored of my job. Like as if I would at Speedway with being a cashier. I'm just constantly like scanning items. I'm not doing that. Um, I get to be disrespectful to men. Oh my god. I mean, I don't flick off customers. Like talk crazy to customers. It'd be feeling so good. I could be myself for real. Yeah. I don't really have any cons. Like 
maybe the safety things. Um, it messes with your self-esteem a lot, your confidence. I feel like if you're not level-headed and your head not on straight, it, it'll definitely knock you off the show. I definitely have Instagram. I recently, I recently just joined Twitter, for sure. And um, and yeah, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, everything's at she's rue. Twitter is with two e's. My attitude, who the fuck I am? Fuck, I'm trying to, I'm trying to hustle. Um, I don't know. I'm a hard worker. I don't give up too easily. I like a challenge. Yeah, I like to challenge myself.